So now we know two types of configurations, inverting amplifier with open loop and non-inverting amplifier with open loop. Now we will see one more case. Do you uh, understand the difference or do you see any difference in this circuit? In the previous circuits, I apply input to either of the input terminal. Maybe I apply to this positive or I apply to the negative and I ground the other terminal. But here what I do, I apply input to both signals. For example, I apply V1 to this terminal, I apply V2 to this terminal. And this op -amp has a gain A, we know that. So what this operational amplifier is doing, we know the formula V out is equal to A times V1 minus V2. So V1 minus V2 is what? The difference between V1 and V2. Now we will just take one mathematical example. So then you will understand that more clearly. I applied two microvolt here and I applied one microvolt here. And then uh, operational amplifier gain. I said each operational amplifier has the gain A, right? So typically the value of, if you look at the data sheet of this operational amplifier, normally the gain, open loop gain is 10 to the power five or 10 to the power six. Let's say 10 to the power six. This is the gain of this operational amplifier. We know the formula. V out is equal to A times of V1 minus V2. So A, uh, A means here the A value is 10 to the power six multiplied by two microvolt minus one microvolt. That is the difference is one microvolt, right? One microvolt uh, means what? One into 10 to the power minus six. So you know how to represent the millivolt, how to represent the microvolt and uh, nanovolt and so on. So this one microvolt is 10 to the power minus six. So this minus six and 10 to the power plus six is uh, canceled. So we will have out at the output, we will have just only one volt. Uh, so uh, I just converted this microvolt into the volt. That's why now the unit is volt. You should remember. Uh, here, you remember, I apply two microvolt here. Uh, I put millivolt, so let's say two microvolt two microvolt to the positive terminal and then one microvolt to this negative terminal. So according to the formula, two minus one. So that is plus one. So here we have plus one. So the output is amplified and there is no phase shift, the same phase. Uh, because here V1 is greater than V2. V1 is greater than V2. Now we will see another case. So in this case, V1 is less than V2. It means what? So it means I apply uh, one microvolt to this terminal and two microvolt to, to this terminal. We know the formula is V1 minus V2, A times. So A is already 10 to the power six. So here V1 is only one microvolt. V2 is two microvolt. So the output is what here minus one, right? The result is, and then we have the 10 to the power six, we have to multiply. So we have, uh, this is the uh, output here. So minus one microvolt, we can just convert into the volt. Um, volt, if you convert, then it, sorry, it will be minus six, uh, then my 10 to the power minus six and 10 to the power plus six, then we will have minus one. So we will have minus one at the output. So minus one is indicating there is a phase shift because now the difference V1 minus V2 is, the V2 is greater because I'm applying two microvolt to this negative input terminal and one microvolt to this uh, positive input terminal. The difference is amplified and it's also 180, it has 180 degree phase shift. Whatever the voltage you can apply to these two input terminals and you can use this formula. If you get minus at the output, then you will have the phase shift. And if you get the plus at the output, of course, it will be uh, without any phase shift. This V1 minus V2, we can simply call as a VD. This is the voltage difference between V1 and V2. So output is V out is equal to A times VD. Um, okay, so I told you the typical value of gain is 10 to the power six. Right, so now instead of applying microvolt and millivolt, if I apply volt, one volt, for example, I apply the two volt here 
and I apply one volt to this input terminal. So what will happen here? So 10 to the, according to the formula, so 10 to the power six, that is the gain multiplied by two volt minus one volt. So two minus one is just one and we will have 10 to the power six volt at the output. Do you think it's possible? So if I have the possibility to make 10 to the power six means what? I have one megavolt or 10 megavolt. So if this is possible, then of course, everyone can produce uh, such a big and heavy voltage. It is not really possible, actually. We will see why. You can also think by yourself uh, why this is not possible. Because this is the formula and this is the gain. We know the gain. And if you apply uh, more voltages at the input, then you should get amplified such a big signal at the output, right? But why it's not possible, we will see here. Uh, for that purpose, you have to see the voltage transfer curve. Um, if you see the voltage transfer curve, this is the y-axis is indicating output and the x-axis is indicating the input, differential input, sorry, the difference between two input signals, VD. So for example, here uh, I have one millivolt, the x-axis and two millivolt, three millivolt, four millivolt, and so on. Uh, maybe here I have maximum 10 millivolt. And here we have the uh, output voltage level. So we have maybe one volt, two volt, and so on. So this is the input. X-axis is the input, and this is the output. So when I apply the input, I increase the input from one millivolt the input means this is the VD. The VD is the difference between V1 and V2. So the, okay, I, I increase the VD, uh, one volt to one microvolt, two microvolt, three microvolt, little by little. So the output is increasing like this. But after certain level, after certain point, even though I increase the input voltage, the output is getting saturated at some point. So even though if I increase the 10 microvolt or 100 microvolt or even 100 volt, it's not a matter. The output will not increase. The magnitude of the output will just fall at this point. Maybe here, maybe here, the output maximum is 10 volt. I operational amplifier, whatever the input voltage you apply, yes, it will amplify, amplify, amplify. But after certain level, it will not amplify anymore. So that is the maximum level it can amplify. So this is called plus V saturation. And similarly, uh, for the negative side, we know this is for the uh, non-inverting amplifier configuration. If you talk about the inverting amplifier configuration, the same. So you increase the, uh, the differential, the different voltage difference uh, more and more in the minus, maybe here minus one volt, minus two volt, minus three volt and so on. And the, the sorry, the output will increase in the opposite direction. It will just go, go, go. And then after certain level, even though if you increase the voltage difference, it will not increase anymore like this. It will stop at this point and then it will just get saturated. This is called a negative saturation. So this is indicated by minus Vsat. So remember this plus Vsat and minus Vsat. This is, uh, this is what I wanted to tell. Uh, if the voltage difference is VD is plus one microvolt, then the output is 10 to the power uh, six multiplied by one microvolt because VD is the V1 minus V2. So this is one volt, there is no problem. If you apply 10 microvolt, you can get of course 10 volt, but if you apply one volt, then you will not get like a 10 into 10 to the power minus six. So as soon as the input voltage goes beyond certain value, even though we increase the input signal further, the output will get saturated to the V plus Vsat. So as soon as the input uh, voltage goes beyond certain level after this level, um, so there is, even though we increase the input level, uh, voltage further like this, nothing will happen, the output will get saturated to the plus Vsat. That is what uh, this sentence is saying. The same 
uh, principle is applicable for the negative input voltages. This is for the positive input voltages. If you apply the negative input voltages, as soon as the negative input voltages goes beyond certain level. So for example, here we have this level. After this level, even though you increase the negative input voltage, the output will not get increased. It will be saturated at this point. So as a manufacturer of this op amp, I can set this one, whatever the value, so I can limit the output, regardless of the output, uh, regardless of the input signals. So now you can imagine uh, the question from uh, previous slide. So if you apply one volt as a uh, voltage difference, you will you get this 10 to the power six volt at the output? So definitely it's not possible. 